Hey guys, it's Shane Spiel, and I've got one of the easiest projects ever. Welcome back, it's Shane Spiel, and I've got one of the easiest projects ever. I'm going to show you how to turn an old telephone into an awesome lo-fi microphone. Guys, I can't believe this. I found this telephone at a yard sale for two dollars in fact I had the whole phone but all I'm using is the handset and I turned this into this microphone I even put a guitar jack right there have my little amp I put a little delay on the amp check one two one two yeah 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 and this took me five minutes to convert so let me show you how I did it and man I wish I had the camera running when I first did it, I thought it was going to be more complicated, but it wasn't. It was just a couple snips of wires and a couple just quick solder joints, and that's it. So what you have here, you have your conventional telephone handset. This is from a 1980s phone. Now, I don't know if they changed from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, but this is what I'm using as a 1980s phone. And what I did was I unscrewed the mouthpiece here, and what was inside there were these two pieces. This is the mouthpiece and this is the uh, part that it fits right into. It, w it went in there. Well, this comes out easy. Save this because there's a way of turning this into a mic as well. And I pulled this out and there was two wires in here. Two wires, two white wires that were connected to this. I cut those white wires. I took this I don't need that anymore. These two white wires go to the earpiece. This microphone actually uses the earpiece as the mic, not the old microphone from the phone. It uses the earpiece. The earpiece turns into a mic so easily. And all I did was I took these two wires and I soldered them right to a guitar jack to a usual a standard quarter inch guitar jack. That's all it is. And before I soldered it, I taped one wire to each prong of the jack to make sure uh, it was positive and negative. If there was a hum, I would know to switch the wires around. So I taped it to there, plugged it into an amp. It sounded fine, so I soldered them in. The only other thing I did was I took a little drill bit and I drilled out the hole that the phone jack used to be in there and I drilled it out just enough that the guitar jack could fit right there. That's it. That's it. I put this back on. So you're actually talking into the earpiece. Now you could probably unscrew this. And if you want to take the earpiece out and move it down here, you could probably do that. But if you want to do a five minute project, all you do is... You cut the wires for the earpiece and you put those two wires to a guitar jack and you have an incredible microphone. I mean, this thing just sounds fantastic. So one more time. Testing, one, two. Now without delay. Testing, one, two, one, two, three. But then you can add delay. Delay. You could, you could add, add delay. delay. So much fun with this. So there you are, your five minute project. A quick solder and you have a microphone from an old phone. Now, the other thing is, what do you do with this, the mouthpiece? And uh, I think it's called the transmitter. Um, what you can do is on the back of this, there is a positive and negative. You could put this to a guitar jack as well. However, you're going to need to run this through a preamp. This needs to be powered in order to be turned into a microphone. So if you put this together, maybe I'll do that in a, in a future video, that I'll put this on a guitar jack, and then I'll run it into a standalone preamp like I showed in my book, Making Poor Man's Guitars. And then you have two microphones from one phone jack, or from one phone handset. So there you are. My name is Shane Spiel. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to keep having a lot of fun with this stuff. So thanks for watching. And if you want to support this channel, check out my next message about Stubby Slide. Thanks. <laughs> Hold on.
Hi, this is Shane Spiel. My videos are brought to you by StubbySlide.com, home of the most unique, inspiring, and unusual guitar slides made by artisans. I really feel each slide can be a spark of inspiration for your music. StubbySlide.com also has my hilarious cigar box guitar shirts, autographed copies of my book, Making Poor Man's Guitars, and handmade instruments from my own personal shop. StubbySlide.com, because getting cool slides and stuff is better than just throwing money in at Patreon. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.